I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say Argentina might win a World Cup. Stop you, Vani! He's not so much of an idiot. Argentina to win the World Cup. I predicted this eight months ago. Hello everyone, Giovanni here and welcome back to my channel guys. Today we're going to be reacting to our Premier League predictions from the past season guys. That's right, at the start of the season we did our Premier League predictions. We predicted who is going to win the title. We predicted the top scorer, the top four Champions League winners, World Cup winners as well. We're going to see how many we got right and how many we got wrong. Super excited about this. I might look like a right frat. But that's the whole point about this guys. The future is of course in hindsight. But listen, now that we know... The league has ended. We're gonna see how many predictions we got right and how many we got wrong, guys. So don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you need as well, and let's get on with the video. All right, guys. So let's go on and get on with our Premier League predictions uh, reaction video, guys. I mean, this guy right there who's deaf staring at me, you know, it's so crazy because he's in the past, I'm in the future. Still the same person, but that guy has made some predictions that we're gonna react to, guys. All right, we know the future. He doesn't know. <laughs> That's so trippy. But we're going to see how many he got right and how many he got wrong. Hopefully, he doesn't look like a right Pratt, especially with that death stare he's giving me right now. But um, we'll see how he does. You know what I mean? We'll see what he what he was thinking back then and how his predictions went. So we're going to go ahead and play this video, guys. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new as well. And let's get on with our Premier League reaction. All right, video. let's get this going. Hello, everyone. Giovanni here. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys have long been requesting this when I do my FIFA streams, that I do my Premier nice League stare, predictions. Funny. So here's the video. Buddy. I'm just going to skip to the Premier League predictions for up and coming season 2022. I'm going to skip to the predictions, guys. I'm super excited. And we're going to try predicting who I think will be the champions of the Premier League. This is going to be nerve wracking. <laughs> um, I'm super excited. I'm going to start with our top six. I'm going to start with the top six and work my way through Elementary the Elementary age, Vani. <laughs> um, who I think so will be in Martin. the Premier League. Uh, look, I'm a United fan. Six if you know the channel, if you've been the channel for a long time, you know I'm a United fan, but we're going to have to go with manchester united back in six all right last season you know i would have probably like gotten this wrong i would have put him up maybe third or fourth on um, last season but this season we haven't really done much business i know we brought in lataro uh, alessandro martinez very good signing i love that guy the butcher also got in kirsten erickson who looks pretty good actually um in, in the preseason games and then we got tyro malasia Who's a young story? Is he gonna really rival Luke Shaw? I'm gonna increase the um, He's gonna bit. take Luke Shaw's place. We shall wait and see. But with those three signings, does that really make us strong? I don't think so. I don't think we've backed this manager like we should. Uh, we all know how the board is for United. I don't really want to get into. I don't want to get into that. It's gonna be a whole different scenario. Um, but we really haven't backed the board. I'm gonna back the manager Ten Hag. You know, I, I think he's got a point there. I can see where he was coming from because you gotta understand it, guys. Um, Malasia, Ericsson, and Lissandro Martinez was not enough. We weren't not prepared to start the season. This is the whole point about Manchester United and the board. The Glazers need to get out of this club. We're going to get Kotari in so we can have a proper structure. Because what happened was, we start the season with Brentford, we got smashed. We got smashed by Brighton, and then they panicked. They panicked, and they brought in Casemiro, and they brought in Anthony. That's what happened, right? And even still, that's, that still wasn't even enough. But I guess we had the miracle worker, Eric Ten Hag, who took us from 6th to 3rd, which was a very good season, by the way. But I can see why he said 6. Let's keep it going. <laughs> We, we did our worst and we still finished sixth. So I think players will be behind Ten Hag. The team is behind Ten Hag. The fans are behind Ten Hag. And I don't see yeah. players. I don't, think, I don't think we could have finished any worse than six. Honestly. I mean, we had the worst season ever and we still, we still finished in the top six. So I, that's a good point. That's a good point. And I said, if we did, if we, if we were to sign Frankie Dion, which a guy would not sign Frankie Dion, it was such a fucking mess. Ronaldo also did leave, which ended up being better than I, 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 Thought it wouldn't. I thought Ronaldo losing, leaving would have made us much worse, but it made us better. And you know, in hindsight, it did make us better. So I, in that way, I, I think I got that wrong. But I still got the sex prediction wrong. <laughs> I'm going in fifth place, and this is a tough one. This is a tough one because the team I'm going to put here, fans might think they have to go higher. Um, they think they have to go higher, but it has to be Arsenal. So nothing really changing so far. This will have to be Arsenal going in fifth. Um, the reason why I'm going. I couldn't have been more wrong about Arsenal fit. Uh, to be honest, of all the surprises this season, Arsenal being on top of the Premier League for, what, 238 days, right? I did not see coming. To rival Man City for the title, I did not see coming. I mean, it is crazy that Arsenal actually finished second this season. That is nuts comparing to the start of the season they had last season and also the transfer they had. That is nuts. That, for me, is the biggest L. 
<laughs> that's just the big United finished six again. Well, Arsenal finished in fifth. I did not see that one coming at all. My God. So I know the Barton Gabriel Jesus. I know the Bart Willem Saliba back. Um, they also got that midfielder from Porto. You know, they also got Zinchenko. Um, so some decent signings in there to boost up their squad. But you talk to Arsenal first, like I said, they need. By the way, W editing. W editing. By the way, I gotta say. But you know what's funny, man? I still think Arsenal and United are very close linked. Right? They're both bare bones. They're both, you know, trying to build. I think Arsenal might be one year ahead of us. And so, you know, Arsenal fifth and sixth, you know, if you just move them a little bit higher, the second and third, you know what I mean? I still think those two teams are very linked in terms of their progress and where they're at. You can, you can clearly see Arsenal ahead of us, but I, I still think we're close. So, I, I mean, in a sense, in a sense, I couldn't see us, I couldn't see Arsenal finishing any much higher than we were. So, I mean, again, it, it, it proved it because they finished second and we finished third. Fifth and sixth, same thing. You know what I mean? I guess it's very wrong, very wrong, but I'm just saying we're not that far apart. And for w my fourth job place, well, um, nice this is the team mind. that I think might even bottle fourth place, if I mean, honest with you. I like It'll be broadcast. Chelsea. Um, It'll be Chelsea. I think they had a... <laughs> on the line... <laughs> Chelsea finishing fourth was not a bad prediction. I'm, think I'm, I'm pretty sure you hear his reasons. But... Just finishing eighth at the end of the season. Holy shit. <laughs> That's just like incredible, my guy. I didn't see that coming as much. I didn't mean this season, man. This season has just been an absolute roller coaster. The things that happened this season probably would never happen in a regular season. I mean, especially now with a World Cup as well. But 650 million Chelsea spent. They finished eighth. Sack Tuko, bring in Graham Porter, Sack Porter, brought in Frank Lampard. I don't care what machine you have, even a time machine, you couldn't even predict that. There's no way you could have predicted that. Because if Chelsea, in my opinion, had kept Tuco, right, and just back him, I think Chelsea would have probably finished in top four. Do you guys not think so? All the signings that they did, if they actually kept Tuco and just backed him, right, and just say, you know what, we'll see you to the end of the season. Do you guys not think, maybe not top four, maybe they finish higher though, but they definitely finish higher than eight. But I, I still think that if they have kept Tuco, like I probably was going to say, I think they would have finished in the top four. Maybe definitely not the top eight. So I'll go with Chelsea fourth. I'm going to go with my third place team. And um, who I think also this. These are the dark horses of the Premier League. This team is the dark horse of the Premier League. And that would be Tottenham second. I mean Tottenham third. I'm <laughs> not second. We'll, we'll try and squeeze it in there. Um, But yeah, Tottenham will be third for me. And the reason... You can't, you can't blame it. You can't blame it. Spurs was second in the table for the start of the season, probably up to what November, December. They were playing good football at the start of the season. I don't know where it all went wrong. Somewhere, somewhere in the in the in the in the, in the early stage of the season, it went wrong for Spurs. But they were like second, I think, and they were winning games and scoring goals for fun. I don't know where it went wrong. I haven't gotten a single right yet, guys. Up to third now, and nothing I've gotten right. But I think I got a champions right. But I'm gonna go with my second place team, and that will be Liverpool. I will my nemesis. No, go up here. Go up here. Swap them. There. Another prediction that I got wrong. I, again, I just didn't see the drop off. I just didn't see the drop off. By the way. So I'm gonna go with Liverpool for second place. Great signings, good newness. I think he will score a lot, a lot of goals for Liverpool. Um, but I think they might be missing that side of mind. Hopefully. I really just said Nunes is going to score a lot of goals for Liverpool. <laughs> I couldn't have been more wrong. How many goals did Nunes score this season? I don't even know, but, but it's, it's not as much as I thought he was going to score. I didn't, the, he didn't even cross 16 goals did he, for, the, for, the, for the season in the Premier League. I'm not even sure he scored 16 goals for Liverpool, which is kind of, you know, for a Liverpool striker, that was not good enough. That will bring me to my champions of the Premier League. I hate to do this. I don't want to do this. They might win it three straight years. It's going to be Man City. And the most yeah we got one right guys out of the top six we finally got one right so this is our predictions we have man city as a champion second place <laughs> liverpool third spurs fourth chelsea fifth arsenal and sixth united looking at how the Premier League table was man city finished first we got that right arsenal and united second and third did not see that coming all right newcastle newcastle finished fourth and liverpool finished fifth Newcastle, by the way, which I didn't even, in my wildest dreams, would have put them anywhere near the top four. Compare that to what I predicted. It's crazy. Let me close my Twitter for a second. 
But the con look at this, the contrast, guys. Newcastle, <laughs> what a season. It's been a, such a unique season, man. But anyway, let me see why I said, look, I mean, it's not, it's not hard to predict my city when the, when, when in the Premier League anyway. Let's go ahead and All do, right, let's do the relegation. The relegation. The three relegation teams that I think will get relegated this year. Number one team is going to have to be Forest. Um, I know they brought in Dean Henderson from loan. They also bought... <laughs> Number one team, I said Forest. I couldn't have been more wrong. Number one team, I said Forest. I, I basically, what I did was, I selected, I basically selected whoever came up to go down. I think that's what I did, but... Forest, my God. I mean, credit where credit is due. They bought, what, 22 players in? And they somehow managed to stay up. So credit where credit is due, but... I got that wrong as well, man. It's probably going to have to be. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I know it sounds easy, but, like, it, I think you come back. Bournemouth? For a second. Hold on. Who, finished, who, who got relegated? Bro, I got... I'm one of eight predictions so far, guys. Eight predictions. I got an entire top six wrong. I've got the two relegations wrong so far, right? Forrest and Bournemouth both stayed up. I, I, oh my god, I'm so bad. Um, so yeah, I think Bournemouth are going back down. And last but not least, this is the most hardest one because there are a few things in here that I think might go down. Um, honorable mentions might be Brentford, um, might be Brentford and Everton, guys. So, with that being said. With that being said, I'm have to, I have to go. I have to go for uh, Everton boys. <laughs> no strength. Yo, I couldn't have been more wrong, guys. <laughs> I got a doggy to predict as well. I couldn't have been more wrong, guys. Everton to go down, Bournemouth to go down, and Forest to go down. I have gotten only one prediction right out of the entire what relegations and top six that I've done. Hey, don't go anywhere. Don't don't mess up things. I've got only one right, which is the easiest one you can get right, which is City winning the Champions League. I couldn't, I mean, winning the Premier League. I couldn't have gotten any more wrong if I tried, guys. So I guess this is my fourth prediction, guys. This is the four predictions. I couldn't have gotten anything wrong even if I tried. Got relegations wrong. Um, Brentford to finish 15th was probably one of the worst things that day. They finished ninth. Uh, I, I got so much wrong this season that it, it's, it's baffling. I look like a right fool. I look like an idiot. I look like you just took me out of the blender and you fed me a bunch of dumbass food and said, go and predict the Premier League <laughs> predictions, guys. Because this is absolute shite. I didn't get a single right except the champions, which anybody, maybe my goddamn dog will get that right if you ask him right now who's going to be the champions next season. It's going to say Man City. I'm going to go with Holland. Thank um, you. I think Holland will be top scorer this league. I can got see it right. Score Holland top scorer. Got, got one right. Season. Got two right uh, now. I think my top... Let's just do top four. We'll do five yeah, for top scorers. I think Holland will score the most goals this season. Um, come on, Holland, do it. <laughs> Don't make me look like an idiot. Come me, man. Yeah, Holland. Um, I think Holland will score the most goals this season. I think followed by Salah, followed I got by the right Kane, Darwin Nunez, and Gary Nunez. maybe I don't know if Ronaldo stays. No, Kane finished second, right? Kane finished second. Hold on, what's the stats? Kane finished second. It was Holland, then Kane, Ivan Tony, and Mosa. I mean, I wasn't far off. So that'll be my top five for my. So top five: Holland, Sela, Kane, Nunes, and Gabriel Jesus. <laughs> well, Holland and Harry Kane and Salah. I got three out of the top five right, except Ivan Tony and Colin Wilson. I did not include in there, but that's not bad. Martinelli, all the guards, Gabriel Jesus didn't even make top ten. Um, my sis, obviously, I think the Bruno will be in there. I think Bruno will be in there. Um, out in the top five, I think Bruno, I think the Bruyne will be in there. I think Thiago might even be in there. Um, Thiago, I had the Bruyne for the assist. Oh gosh, assist! I had the Bruyne, Bruno, Thiago, Mount, and Trent. Assist! The Bruyne got that right. That's the only thing I got right. Trent was seventh. Bruno was ninth. So I mean, Salah twelve assists. Yo, Salah had a pretty good season, guys. Holy shit. Salah had, I, I mean, for the season that Liverpool we had, Salah was pretty much a W. Um, all right, Champions League winner. Who did he go with? Who did he look go Look at PSG on the other side. Bayern losing Lewandowski. Who did he go, go with? Who did he go with? Don't look like a fucking um, But I'm going to have to go with Hala Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> no. To be fair, they, they didn't make the semifinals, okay? They got knocked out by a pretty good Real uh, Madrid team. Let's be fair. They did get knocked out by a pretty good 
pretty experience pretty extraordinary Man City team. But Real Madrid again? Oh god, I didn't do my predictions is so shit. <laughs> uh, I'll just go to Real Madrid. They can do it again. If anyone can do it, it's Madrid. They can do it again. Uh, I don't think they will win it this year. I don't want to say Liverpool. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to. I say, I say Real Madrid. I say Real Madrid. He thought about it. He thought about it for a while. And he still came back and said Real Madrid. What an absolute idiot you are, you my guy. You're an absolute idiot. He's an idiot. Look at him. Look at him up there. He thought about it for a second and then go. Real Madrid. <laughs> to repeat the, the Champions League final. Uh, this might World Cup just prediction be... time. I might do a World Cup prediction, but if I don't do it, I think the World Cup this year is coming to South America. I think... He, he cooked that one. He absolutely cooked that one. He cooked that one. W. Dovani. He got the second... He got, what, two right? Three right now? Three right right now? He cooked that one. He absolutely cooked that one. The World Cup was going to come back to South America this year. And it came back to South America this year. He cooked that one. Bruno Aries was full and jam-packed. The whole streets were full of people. He got that one right. Either Brazil or Argentina. Will mm! Brazil or Argentina! Or win the World Cup. If I no do one saw that have coming. to go with one, I'm going to say... Um, I'm going to say Argentina might win the World Cup. W. Vani! He's not so much of an idiot. Argentina to win the World Cup. I predicted this eight months ago. Eight months ago, I predicted this. Guys, that is my reaction video. I said City Champions, I got that right. Second and third, I said Liverpool and Spurs. He got that absolutely wrong. I couldn't even have dreamt of a wrong prediction, even I tried. Chelsea fourth, they had a very worst season. Very, very worst season. Come on, buddy. The dog is shy. Chelsea fourth. I mean, that is that's insane. They finished eighth. Incredibly wrong. Arsenal fifth. <laughs> United sixth. Surprise of the season was Arsenal United. Let's be fair. Surprise. And Newcastle. In fact, you know what's funny, right? Just move Arsenal, United, and Newcastle just up a ladder. And I got it right. Just, just remove Spurs and Liverpool and just bring Ars Arsenal, United, and Newcastle. Just push them up. And I'm pretty sure I got them right. Right? I just got the order wrong. But it's still wrong, right? I got the relegations wrong. I had Re Forest, Bramman, and Everton. I couldn't have been more wrong. Not a single one of those clubs got relegated. Not a single one. I didn't get one right. That's insane. But I did get the top score right in Harry Kane. I mean, I'm, I mean, I said Kane third, but honestly, Salah, Allen, Kane, not a bad prediction, okay? World Cup winner, Argentina. Got that spot on. Absolute spot on. Real Madrid for the Champions League. Got that wrong as well. In hindsight, it wasn't that bad as I thought it was going to be. Yes, I look like a right pride in some instances and a freaking idiot in some places. But it's not that bad, guys. In hindsight, we'll be bringing up for the next season our predictions. Hopefully, we'll do much better than this season. But that wasn't too bad, guys. Hit the like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys on the next video. I look like a brat. Thank you for watching.